The VSXK is a true digital voltmeter. To test the voltage on your fence, push the ground probe into the soil and touch the tester probe to the live fence wire. This voltmeter is only suitable for measuring electric fence voltages. The voltage must be between 0.2 kilovolts and 9.9 kilovolts. The measurement is displayed in kilovolts. To determine the number of volts, simply multiply the number by 1000. To locate faults in the fence, disconnect a section of the fence and take a voltage reading of the remainder of the fence. Repeat for each section of the fence. If the voltage reading is significantly higher than the reading for the entire fence, this indicates a fault in the disconnected section. Within the faulty section, take voltage readings every 330 feet until the fault is located. To measure the energizer output voltage, turn off the energizer and disconnect the fence wires from the energizer terminals. Turn the energizer back on and hold the black ground probe against the energizer's ground terminal. Touch the fence tester probe to the energizer's fence output terminal. Take a voltage reading and compare with the manufacturer's specifications for the energizer. Turn off the energizer before reconnecting the fence wires to the energizer terminals. To test the ground system, turn off the energizer. At least 330 feet away from the energizer, short circuit the fence by laying one or more steel rods or lengths of pipe against the fence. In dry or sandy conditions, it may be necessary to drive the posts up to one foot into the soil. Turn the energizer back on. Take a fence voltage reading. The voltage reading should be below 2 kilovolts. If not, repeat the short circuiting procedure using more rods or pipes. Insert the black ground probe into the soil at the full extent of the cord and touch the fence tester probe against the last ground rod. The voltage reading should be less than 0.3 kilovolts. Anything higher than this indicates that better grounding is required. Either add more ground rods or find a better location for the ground system. To change the 9 volt battery, remove the backing screws and carefully pry the case apart. Remove the 9 volt battery from the connector and replace with a new battery. Refit the case back and backing screws. For more information, visit kincove.com.